today's Madden 18 tip, my whole purpose here is to help you guys. We're going to give you about three tips, and what that's going to do is it's going to help you to stop throwing interceptions, okay? What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to welcome you to today's YouTube video. In today's video, we're talking all about how to avoid throwing interceptions, and one of the keys to that that I'm going to get to in just a minute is we're going to talk about and get into why we throw interceptions in the first place. But before we do that, I want to welcome all of the first time visitors. If you are a new uh, a new subscriber, this is your first time checking out the channel, do me a favor and leave a comment and let me know uh, what is your name, okay, first thing. Second question is what what is one thing that I can help you out in for Madden 18? Okay, so what is one thing that I can do to help you get better in Madden 18. All right, so let's get into the interception topic. So the first question is, why do we throw interceptions in the first place? What are the common themes? What are the commonalities? And, and really, what I've kind of delved into is essentially one to two reasons. The first one is probably the least likely, and that is that we we just totally don't see them. Like, we just totally don't see them, and they trick us, and we just completely just make an error. The second one, and this is the one that's probably the most common, is the defense is able to get enough pressure on us, either perceived pressure, actual pressure, or a bad timing, and we throw the ball before we want to get rid of it. That's the one that I have, like right there, I just didn't see the guy. Like That was pretty crazy. That was one of the most incredible interceptions I've ever seen right there. But what I'm, what I'm getting at is... Most of the time, that's not why I throw interceptions um, as I threw it, as I'm doing the video. But um, so here's what happens is pressure. And we allow pressure to dictate the game. And unfortunately, what, what people don't realize when they're playing Madden, especially as they're going throughout their offense, is you don't have to throw the ball. <laughs> like you, the worst case scenario is a sack. Okay. And then the second worst case, Sack fumble, maybe, but more than likely it's going to be a sack. Best case scenario is you're going to throw the ball away. It's not going to be a big deal. One of the things that I find that I just struggle with a lot when trying to read the defense, and I find myself making this mistake a lot, is I'll end up forcing the ball. Um, it's, so that's why I want to talk about perceived pressure. So perceived pressure is when you think there's pressure, but there's really not. Okay, And that happens to me a lot. So what happens in perceived pressure is... You might be like, oh, well, I've got a score in one play, so I'm going to force the ball into the post route. Or, um, you know, you're just not used to – you're just not used to the fact that he's going to take a, he's going to take away one route and give you another route, so then you end up forcing it to the route that you want to throw to more, more times than not. The bottom line is – you have to take what the defense gives you. That's the way to handle, um, in my opinion, that is how you're going to throw fewer interceptions as you, if, if you take what the defense gives you. And the key to do that is progression reading and discipline. It comes down to discipline, focus, execution. Those are the three pillars. And so you have to understand that normally the reason you're going to throw an interception is because you're going to feel pressure and react. What you have to get to is you have to get to a place where you're able to be okay with taking a sack. And the reason that I get after this so much, and I'm gonna, and I take a whole video to talk about this, is because there's a couple things you can do. Let me give you one practical technique. Let me give you one practical thing you can do. The f is, and that is to step up in the pocket. So most pressure in Madden is gonna come from the outside. So if you step up in the pocket, it's going to help alleviate some of it so you'll see every time i'm going to step up right into the pocket and throw the ball every single time i'm going to step up immediately as uh, my quarterback's going to catch the ball and i'm going to step up in the pocket the next thing that you want to do is you want to have a progressional reading system in which you are looking at uh, points on the field not routes or players so i'm looking at different reference points and as i scan the field I'm using my peripheral vision to guide most of what's going on, okay? So I use my peripheral vision to guide what most of what is going on. 
the last thing that you can really do, in my opinion, practically speaking, and then we'll wrap up with some, some big picture things. The last thing that I think you can do is to limit your excuses. Um, this is why I recommend not running very many plays. This is why I talk a lot about only running three to five plays in conjunction with one another, because as a quarterback, you have to know where every receiver is going on every time. One of the one of the ways that I threw, I, I found myself throwing a lot of interceptions was that I was running so many different formations, and I would think my receiver would be on an out route, and in reality is he's on an in route. And if you guess wrong in a split second and you throw the wrong route, it's, <laughs> it's likely to get intercepted. Um, another way that I do it oftentimes is I'll hit the wrong receiver button. It's just these little bitty mistakes that whenever you limit, though, whenever you limit how much you're actually going to run, how many plays you're actually going to run from some formation, the same formation, it allows you to take away a lot of those little minor details that you just don't think about when you're putting a scheme together. Like you don't think about the fact that like on PA, on PA post, it's the routes are just completely different. Let's see if I can fit that into Cole. That's my red zone offense right there, man. Tight end hook, really, really good red zone play. But you see what I'm saying? So, so again, limit your options. And let me recap for you just a couple of the practical things that you can do to avoid throwing interceptions in Madden 18. The first thing you got to do is you have to become okay with throwing the ball away when there's pressure as opposed to forcing it into your receiver's hands. Okay, that's the biggest thing. If you can get that one thing done, everything else is going to be easier. The second thing is to step up in the pocket. If you step up in the pocket, it's going to allow you to have a little bit more time passing, generally speaking. You're going to have a little bit more time. And then the third thing is make sure that you limit the amount of plays you run so that you only have to focus on a certain – you only have to remember so much. The more you have to remember, the more you're going to forget. Okay? The more you have to remember, the more you're going to forget. So the key is not to have a better memory. The key is to actually have to remember fewer things. Okay, So that that's one of the critical things that I've been able to apply to my game that has really helped me uh, when, when it comes to looking at, looking at the interception category. And then the, the only other thing I wanted to, to recommend to you is to make sure that you're using your peripheral vision. And the reason I say that is because for me, that was a big adjustment. And you don't want to just stare down a receiver. Now you're actually going to read the field. Um, if you're able to read the field, you're going to be able to see your receivers. Okay? So anyways, guys, those are my top three tips to throwing fewer interceptions in Madden 18. And what I want to do now is I want to quickly talk about one other thing that you can do to get better at Madden 18. And that is to purchase our premium membership. If you guys... Know, any, know anything about the premium membership basically if you click the link in the description it's going to give you access to the premium membership it's going to take you to the checkout page and you can check that out and i believe it's our best membership best product i've ever created basically what you're going to get is you're going to get six different guides you're going to get three offense three defense you're going to get a one hour video every week that's going to give you a basic update for the entire offensive or defensive guy that you purchase. And that to me, that's the biggest thing. And then, again, you're going to get that whole access for one whole season. So it's going to be all of Madden 18. It's our premium membership. You're going to get all of our guides, and you're also going to get updates. Again, the updates are going to come out every single week, one hour. Every single week, one hour. That's how we're going to plan to do the updates for the books. So hopefully you guys can check that out and will enjoy it. And also, if you are enjoying the YouTube channel, let me know by leaving a like rating and be sure to come back and watch our next.